This question is from Gate 2014 Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 3, Question Number 23. Cutting tool is much harder than the workpiece, yet the tool wears out during the tool work interaction because Option A, extra hardness is imparted to the workpiece due to coolant used. Option B, oxide layers on the workpiece surface impart extra hardness to it. Option C, extra hardness is imparted to the workpiece due to severe rate of strain. Or option D, vibration is induced in the machine tool. Let's find out. During machining, what happens is there is plastic and elastoplastic deformation occurring at the interfaces. So it can be the tool workpiece interface or it can be the tool chip interface. Because of this deformation, of course, the material of the workpiece will be strained. As strain is nothing but deformation per unit original dimension. This strain may increase up to a point where it reaches the strain hardening limit. As previously mentioned, as the deformation is plastic and elastoplastic, definitely strain in the material is going to reach past strain hardening limit. This strain hardening causes the material to harden and therefore hardness of the workpiece during the machining or during the tool workpiece interaction increases which causes the tool to wear out. So although originally the workpiece hardness is greater than the tool hardness, during the interaction workpiece material is hardened and therefore the tool wears out. Let's go back and mark the correct option. So it's given in option C, extra hardness is imparted to the workpiece due to severe rate of strain. This causes the tool wearing out during tool work interaction. To learn more about tool wear and tool life, you can refer to the NPTEL video Tool Wear and Tool Life from the course Metal Cutting and Machine Tools. The course is by Professor Asim Roy Chaudhary. He is from Department of Mechanical Engineering of IIT Kharagpur. I hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.